big monster. The big monster is pretty strong, but also have a few weaknesses. Namely that it boosts big guys, and if you have a way to shut it down, like this 7 point uh, Peter, uh, then they're gonna be pretty sad. No witchers, no shoop, no roach, that's a plus. Play Cantorella, open and play Spy, Summoning Circle Spy, open and play Summoning Circle, Decoy Spy, open and Decoy Spy, Emmy replace Spy. Also you could Operator the Spy. Uh, that used to be a thing as well. Emmy replace Spy. <laughs> Yeah, spicy good. Old Calvate used to have the ability that all spies on your opponent's board uh, come to you. Which was awesome. And you can refresh that ability so you can do it twice in uh, one game. It didn't work it in one round, but you could play two rounds with it. That was... Yeah, you, you had to win the first round or you were in trouble. And it was not like the new band, just like, Hey, what's up, bro? I got your back. You can play uh, round one with a bonus. You can draw six cards later. No, nothing like that. That's not how old Gwen worked. <laughs> old Gwen gave you uh, two cards on the round two and one card round three. And you had to tin. Old Grant was more hardcore. Yeah. Tom Foolery, Old Grant was a lot more hardcore. Holy crap. No RNG, three rows. The rows mattered. And um, we had some extreme abilities. Oh my god, the Vetter. Do you guys remember the Vetter? If the Vetter existed in the way it existed in the past which was basically kill a row like but you were also locked to a row so for example there were strategies where you played a bunch of units that were locked to the melee row and you you played them on the melee row i didn't play them the enemies played them they like dumb strategies and i just played one white frost and everything went down to one and they were effectively dead. That was kind of fun. <laughs> now, do we lock the Drowner? Oh crap. I don't have the other picture. God damn it. Let's just uh, convert the Nausicaa Sergeant. There was like brutal hard counters in the old Gwent. Open and plays on melee row? No problem, White Frost. Here we go, GG. <laughs> and our first on Siege row, Dagon plays Rain and wins the round. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Dagon used to be such an asshole. Well. <laughs> Dagon was uh, basically the best. Uh, there was another card, Aromancy, that did the same effect as Dagon, but yeah, Dagon was the best. Old Gwent definitely had its charm. Oh, that's pretty good. Hey, Feed Boy Sam. I personally would like to see more crazy strong cards that are situationally crazy strong. Come on. Guys, I'm putting it out there right now. This guy, uh, the one I'm pointing on, this needs a name. I'm not calling him that. 
There's zero chance that's gonna happen. We need a name for him. Trahan Ward Vidifir. Oh man. <clears throat> Your attention, please. I shall now speak. Okay. Well, we have Gimpy. It's gonna be ten points. Gold emissary dude. <laughs> That's what I call him. <laughs> A word once given, we never break. So he's in the lead by 16 points. But he will need to push me. Can I realistically keep up here? So I can play this for 10. We're gonna be at... Okay, let's just say we are at 36. Then I would need to play a 7, which could be the Unicorn. We don't wanna play, Peter. Not in a good spot. Mr. Rat Hat? <laughs> I love names like that. What? Regis Higher Vampire. So he's in the lead by 20 points. I can't do it. I would need to use three cards here. And even then, it's... Ah, that's not good enough. So this would be 8, 8 and uh, a 5. It's not happening, guys. We have to give this one up. Okay, that could help us uh, stay in this round. Wait, what is he playing? He didn't play any big dudes. It's a bit surprising. I gotta be careful. I can't draw into Witchers. But also I need to draw. Looks like in this game we are not gonna get Shoop. We simply have to play Chiron X or Unicorn twice. But at least we don't have to be worried about Regis Higher Vampire. Shoop! Never mind that. Okay. Uh, send this back. We have a Witcher, which is good. But we can actually send back the Witcher with the Vicovaro Novice, if we get another one. Is there something that I would like to get? Wouldn't be too bad. Wow, that's really good! Anyway, we do have to play the Witchers. So there's zero chance of drawing into them. And we would need to play Isabel of Hag. Yeah, we can just play a Seer. I can actually mess him with, mess with him a little bit. If he plans to eat something big for last, I can uh, disrupt it a little bit. I'll just go with that. What's the most OP deck right now?
I think Crack is the most spam deck. I'm not sure if it's the most OP deck. Big monsters are quite popular. But in my opinion, uh, they're not the strongest. But we can lock to get some value. Also played around with uh, Erden Immunes. That could be just straight up fucking disgustingly broken. I'm sorry for swearing. I'm trying to cut down on that. <laughs> but yeah, if the opponent has no answer and you just uh, unleashed in a long round, it is disgusting. You just win the game and he has nothing on the board. I'm just like, yeah, I have 40 points, you have zero. Nice, nice. But sometimes uh, it gets blown up. Especially against Amir, he might just play uh, Shoop Day off twice. And you would need to play your win condition a little bit later. So, I suppose I don't really know what is the, the strongest deck. But there are definitely some stronger decks out there. Monsters definitely have at least two decks. The Immune Aradin and uh, the big monsters. Immune Aradin is is a little stronger in a longer round. Except Nor Realm. What? Is there a faction? Nor Realm? I think that that's coming the next expansion. I tried to make them work, but hold. No. Don't try that. Don't don't put yourself through that. It's not worth it, guys. Shoop. So I can shoop and try to delete the Necker Warrior. That's not necessarily bad. Boost all units in my hand between 1 and 2 power. So that would be actually acceptable. One and a half on average. It's probably better. This is weird. Shoop hand buff. Kill Shoop. Not sure what to do. We gotta play the unicorn. Boost. Put back the unicorn. And we're probably gonna play this guy because it doesn't matter. Now that's an 8. That could be more. But now, I think we're just gonna kick Serith here. That's unfortunate. Does he have any way to kill me? I would like to hold on to the Unicorn and the Chiron X, just in case he plays something that we might want to shut down. I hoped we could solve this some other way. They shouldn't have a way to deal 7 damage. I'm not, I don't know how he's gonna do it. Let me shoop that you're seeing now is also pretty strong. Yeah. 
It's also kind of fun. If we give him that, this is kind of bad, because it's a toss-up between an 8 and uh, who knows how strong that is. That's a 7. Huh. Or, is it a 7? At least a 7. At very least a 7. It could be a lot better. I think I'm just gonna keep the Azrael. Oh no. I'm gonna keep the Azrael. Because there is a chance that he's gonna eat something in his grave in his hand. Then he wants to Yeah, we can just deal some damage. Doesn't matter. He wants to eat that. This has more shutdown potential. It's a bit unfortunate that he has last say, or Peter is not going to be that strong. Let's hope he doesn't run Jordan. Yeah, I kind of messed up. I could have tried to uh, spread out my buffs a little bit more. Lesson in humility coming now. Okay. So, his last card. Either eats. I don't know. No, it doesn't work. It, it, we could eat something like a five from his graveyard. That's that, That's the best one. He's probably gonna play my card, Serret. Maybe he's just gonna decide to play his card and boost it up. I'm like, hey, what's the worst that can happen? We're in the lead by 17 points. That's pretty decent. But he has X to the on 8 plus 8 plus whatever that is. And this is only a 9 now. <laughs> okay. So he wasn't exactly holding on to the best for last. Spook me big time. Why? Beast or man makes no difference to me. Maybe he was afraid that I'm gonna lock it. He definitely played around that. Anyway, GG. Kusok. Big monster! Long time no see, just kidding. So... Sadly, yeah. 
I couldn't use my last mulligan. We have to get out the witchers. Holy crap, where did you get so many scraps? It's not a lot of scraps. I used to have more scraps than that. Damn, so the, the ability to make gold immune card from bronze ones, it was cancer. But it had one counter. It had a counter that a lot of people were too lazy to use, which I admit was a bit clunky to include. But it had Dimratium Bomb that reset, that not only converted any gold units, immunes, they used to be immune, not only converted the gold units to bronze ones, but also it reset their power, which was really good. So he had a bunch of buffed immune units. That was problematic. But it had at least one counter. I like that. But it was pretty bad. I didn't like it. Uh, Whoa! Okay. Big monster. Respect. You're not talking <laughs> it's so bullshit. <laughs> I don't like this unit, but... I don't have a choice. We gotta use him. Sometimes he sees a uh, Arcaspor. Sometimes he sees a uh, uh, whatever that is. Just we can see a uh, thirteen point, ten point, or just the one point. It's no big deal. It's not game deciding or anything. These awkward cuffs from the leaders. Yeah, I'm, I'm... Like... The thing is... I think they really wanted to... Make them say stuff. But they don't... They also, they don't want that. Because they know that it would get boring or just... Uh, repetitive. I, I don't get the cuffs. Honestly, I just... The thing is... Do you guys like the leaders on the board? Because... It's just an artistic thing. They are on the board, sure, but I don't know. I can do without it. You can blow that up. You shall hear out what I have to say. Okay. In the graveyard with you. In the lead by 11 points. And we know for a fact that he doesn't have Goliath. His old spear tip is in the graveyard. He needs to do 11 points, which he can, which that he can do. Free damage, but we can kill that. They're dead already. In the lead by 40 points. Oh, did I mess up? <laughs> yeah, I split the soldiers. Ah, uh, that was bad. I don't have a target anyway, but it was not good. Maybe he would have given me a target. Just add Gascon in your deck. Playable leaders uh, was better, in my opinion. Some of them were boring. I'm just making the argument that I don't have to see them on the board. If I had some icon here, or here, or whatever, that just, like, did the thing, like, I don't have to see them. They just look awkward. 
So we end the lead by 15 points. He would need to do a 16. And he only has one tribe unit. He can do 13 for sure. He can do 14. But in order to do more than that, he needs to use the, use the woodland. He can do 16. I forgot about the total bullshit card. That is gonna get nerfed next patch, but not now. It's still total bullshit. Right. Hey, Atfu. Do we need lock? That could help. Just leave infantry. Yes. This could help improve our hand. All right. Let's see what we're gonna get last turn. But that's huge because I passed against the big monster, and he didn't even push me for some reason. But we lost our last save. That was one card in the game that could take that uh, in one move. Only one card. Nothing else does it. That's only a 7, most likely. Yeah, these are kind of weak. Might have consume anyway. We'll see. I'll just go with that. I can't imagine that any of these are going to be better than what I got. Magnet Division could be good. Yes. Yeah, just did the crouch. Not anymore. But they're going to change Regis to an Order unit, which is good. Not only makes it vulnerable, it makes it actually powerful, more powerful, because it's gonna have the same effect for four points, now it has only one point, but it's gonna have, it, you will be able to shut it down, and also slows it down. So, that's not gonna be a thing anymore, that you're just gonna be, oh, surprise, uh, 30 points, what's up? Yeah, that, that kinda hurts. Of course, as you wish, master. As I suspected, that's garbage. So in this scenario, the Frenzy Dao is just probably worse than having the Witch. The Witch would only be worse if if it dies, and I'm not sure if it, if it, if it would die. Bridges in lower realm the rock. Yeah, but even that, yeah, exactly, it's gonna be stronger in Aura Realm, but you would need to combine it with Zeo, except if you're playing Foltest, but still it wouldn't be a widespread threat. It, it would be a card that's good in Aura Realms, and that's something I'm more okay with. This is interesting. Because if we play the Shoop, kill something. Time for a beating. Version. Like we can shut that down. Hopefully he's gonna play something big. It's not something big. It's tempting to go with that Shoop. Oh my god. God damn it. 
Kill a random enemy, Shoop. I believe in you. That's the only way to interact with the immunes. Alright. At least I don't have to worry about that. Ooh. Killing that would be cool. Can I kill it? No. Maybe if he deals damage to it? <laughs> no, it's not gonna do that. Why not? You gotta do that. Why not deal damage to your own Goliath? Oh, what? Sorry about that. I don't know if this is gonna have any value later. But this list takes away the highest unit condition from him. Oh, that's actually really smart. Really, really smart. Now we don't have a target for Peter. Maybe he has the count. This way it's a 50-50. Not more. Why do you have a bad feeling about this? Ultimately, using the Chiron X on Goliath turned out to be a mistake. I should have used the Unicorn to boost for 8 on possibly a frenzy Dao, then use... It doesn't matter too much, but we, currently we don't have a target for Peter, which is huge. At least that would have provided us some target. This is bad. So we're in the lead by 7. This could be a 10. He probably has some way to consume, and that's massive. That Regis alone round one took the whole game. That was the only card to take the game. It bit surprised me because it's it's an unusual card to include. But it was very effective for sure. We lost four points with uh, inefficient play. Screw you, Frenzy Dow, but no. Doesn't matter. Yeah, and his last card is probably gonna be pretty strong. Yeah, that's a 15. Well done. That's why Regis is getting nerfed. <laughs> GG!